What's going on everyone? My name is Rich. This is Theme Park Motivation and today we're going to go over Wildcats Revenge. We're going to take an in-depth look at some of the good things about this coaster, some of the great things, and then just some of the things that make you scratch your head and say why. Wildcats Revenge is regarded as one of the best roller coasters in the entire country and if you haven't been on it I suggest getting out to Hershey Park and getting on this thing. It's incredible. For those that haven't been on this coaster, listen up because what I'm about to tell you are some things that you absolutely need to know before you ride. Wildcats Revenge has a loading and unloading station, meaning you cannot bring your stuff up to the station. That's why they have a locker. Make sure you put everything that is not secured in a locker. This means hats, glasses, anything that you are able to lose out of your pockets. This is a very intense ride and believe me, I've seen more than a few cell phones go flying and get smashed. When people listen and they put their stuff in a locker, they don't put their lap bar down before the seat belt, the process goes a lot smoother and you're able to experience this thing in the best way possible. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. If you look here, we have one train that just left the station and one that's going up the lift hill. They call this the high five effect. When one train goes right over top of the other one, this is a very unique experience and it does not happen often. It only happens when people listen, the ride operators are able to do their job quickly and efficiently. So it's very rare. But I was able to witness this the other day when I was at Hershey Park. They were pumping those trains out and the only thing I knew that was different, there was a lot of season pass holders there. So there wasn't a lot of confusion. People put their stuff in lockers and listened. And when you do that, you're able to experience this incredible high five effect. And I'm telling you what, it's an experience like nothing else. The only other coaster I've ever been on that you can experience this with is Twisted Colossus. And even that's rare these days. If you're looking to experience this, I can tell you it only happens when there's three trains running and the park doesn't have heavy crowds. There is no roller coaster out there that doesn't have some kind of flaw when it comes to the loading process and unloading process. Wildcat's Revenge is no exception. The message in this video is to just kind of make people more aware of little things that they can do to make this a more enjoyable experience for everyone else. When it comes to the lockers, make sure to remember your locker number. You do not want to be that person that gets off a of Wildcat's Revenge and cannot remember which locker and then has to go and hold everybody else up trying to enter a bunch of different numbers. If this happens to you, they have an employee off to the side there that you can just go and talk to and they'll try and help you. But try and be considerate of other people who might actually remember their locker number. To the bigger people, much like myself, remember there is a test seat out in the front of this ride. Make sure to use it and see if you fit. The key is to lift that belly up over that lap bar. Another issue at Hershey Park would be the line jumping or cutting people in line. And this is pretty relevant for just about every coaster. Hershey Park really doesn't do anything to anybody that cuts in line, so everybody just gets away with it. And it's very frustrating. This was my analysis so that everybody is aware of how you can have the best time possible on Wildcats Revenge. It's one of the best coasters in the country. I would love to hear what everybody else thinks. Are there some other issues that I'm missing? Please comment below and let me know. I'd be curious. Thanks so much for watching. Hope everyone has a great day.